Hey everybody, this is Andy Brown. I'm the head instructor at the Commerce School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. The best real estate school in Central Florida in Orlando. And I'm going to do another real estate math tutorial video for you to help you pass the state exam on your first try. This one happens to be number 98 on the 2015 free practice exam that I have on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. Now again, I really think you ought to try it first before you watch this video. Just give it a shot. But let me read number 98. A real estate salesman had an arrangement with his broker to keep 60% of the total commission. He sold a house that he also listed for $400,000. His check was $14,400. What was his commission rate? All right, let's do it. We got to talk about a couple of things here. So anyways, here's the problem. Listed and sold the house for $400,000. His split was 60%. He got a check for $14,400. The first thing we have to do is start from his commission and his split and figure out, well, what was the total commission? How do we do that? I'm going to take $14,400. I'm going to turn this percentage into a decimal by moving over two spaces and divide. $14,400 divided by 0.6 and if you put that in your calculator that's $24,000. That $24,000 that's the total commission to the broker. $24,000 on a sale of $400,000. What was the total commission? Actually, I meant what was the total commission percentage, didn't I? Good catch. The commission amount divided by the total sales price. When you just put that into your calculator just like that, you get 0 0.06. Now you got to turn a decimal into percentage. Instead of going to the left, you go to the right two spots. a commission rate of six percent not too bad but you know what I gotta show you something here this is an Andy Brown little special thing that I teach my students it's called uh, it's my go-to formula theory and here's what it is when you have the bigger number and they ask you for a smaller number like your commission you multiply by the commission rate, or by the percentage, I mean. When they give you the smaller number, and they ask you, what was the original big, whole, complete pie? You divide through. But let me show you how to set up a go-to formula so that you know that. I'll bet you know how to calculate your commission. So start with that, and I want you to start with a $100,000 sales price. All right, if the commission is 6%, I'll bet you know how to calculate that commission. $100,000 sales price times 6%? $6,000. What if the problem said your commission check was $6,000 and the commission rate was 6%? What was the total sales price? Well, you see, multiply and divide are opposites, just the way plus and minus are. So you take that $6,000, and you divide now by the commission rate. And if you put that in your calculator, you're going to get $100,000. You don't believe me? Try it. You should really try it. Now, why is this your go-to formula? First of all, Go-to formula should also always have a 1 or a 10 or something like that because it's really easy to see the math. Next is your go-to because I know you know how to do your commission. So if you're taking your test and you're thinking, this is what Andy was talking about, but I don't remember what he said, go to your go-to formula. You know to calculate your commission, you start with the sales price and you multiply. Well, what's left? Start with the small amount and divide. And that's what we did here. 
In the problem, the salesman's commission was $14,400, but that's only 60%. So we divided through by the percentage rate to get the larger amount. And you're going to get asked a lot of questions like that on the state exam, and that's all you have to do. When you get the larger big picture amount and you need a smaller amount, you multiply. When you have a smaller amount and you need the larger amount, you divide. Good luck on that real estate exam. Call us at the school, 407-822-3926. Come and take my special two-day cram course to repair.